Have you ever needed to hide a file? Maybe you just don't want someone to know that it exists. Maybe you're trying to get that file out of an environment. Maybe you're trying to bring that file into an environment. Either way, in any case, if you need to hide a file, I'm going to show you how to do so by hiding in plain sight with steganography. What's going on guys back at it again here with another video uh, today we're going to take a look at steganography which is basically the art of hiding secret data within non-secret data or hiding it in plain sight so to speak there's a free uh, application you can download it's called open puff it makes this process very simple i'll include the link for that um, download in the description you basically just download the zip file, extract that. There's nothing to install. It just is a standalone application. You just need to have it in order to run it. So once you download that, um, give it a shot. I'll walk through the process here of hiding um, a secret file within a non-secret file. And then we'll take a look at how we actually extract that data if needed. So first thing you're going to want to do is fire up OpenPuff and hit hide because that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to hide a secret file. You're going to need to put in a password. You can put three passwords for this. We'll just use one. So we'll disable B and disable C. And just put in a password here. And then first thing you need to do is you need to add a file in which you're going to hide the data, right? I'm sorry. First thing you need to do, step two, is you're going to add the secret file. And so here I've created a file, a secret.txt has some super secret information in there I don't want anyone to see and the purpose of this guys in most cases is maybe you're trying to exfiltrate data or send data or save data that you would want to go undetected so obviously if you put um, secret super secret passwords or something on a text file on a thumb drive and there was any type of DLP solution in place like a uh, data leak prevention software <clears throat> excuse me, that scanned that thumb drive or that scanned whatever you're trying to use to exfiltrate that data, it would catch that, right? So what we need to do is we need to hide that data. That's where steganog steganography comes into play. So now that we've selected our secret file, we're going to go down here and we're going to um, select the file in which we're trying to hide the data. So we'll add, and we'll put this picture of a kitty cat. Nothing going on here, just a kitty cat. Oh, JPEG. You'll have to use a accepted format. I also saved this as a PNG file. So if I figure out where I put that. Yeah, it doesn't like JPEG files, so you're gonna have to use a different format. So we'll add the PNG file. We'll give this a second. All right, guys. Now that that is successfully added to OpenPuff, we have our password, we have our secret data, and then we have our um, non-secret data, a picture of a kitty cat. So now what we want to do is hit hide data. And then we're going to tell it where to hide it. I just created a directory called OpenPuff hidden data. So we'll go ahead and add it there. We'll give this a second to process. Okay guys, now that that has finished processing, it did take a minute. I paused the video there, so be patient with the process. Now that that's done, let's click OK. If you want to take a look at the report go ahead we can close this out and then we can take a look at unhiding that data so we'll close this now if we needed to unhide that data and click on unhide let's turn off B and C because we only used one password put in the password that you specified when hiding the data now you're going to select your file that was created
So we have nothing in the reveals folder yet. We have the kitty cat file, which has the embedded secret password file. So we'll open that. Okay, that's been added. Now we're gonna unhide the data. You're gonna have to tell it where to put the revealed data. Again, I created a folder under the open puff hidden data, just called it reveal data. You're free to put this wherever you'd like. And once this is finished, it should reveal the secret password.txt file. Okay guys, we gave that a second to process. It has completed. One out of one carriers processed. Okay. We can go ahead and open up File Explorer and browse to that directory. Okay, reveal data, and there's our secret key.txt file. So we open that up, and we see the master password for all the Bitcoins is revealed. So again, guys, this was a quick demo on hiding and unhiding data using steganography, more specifically OpenPuff, which again is a free application. The link will be in the description to download that. Nothing to install. You just extract it and then you run the standalone executable. Um, so yeah, this is a helpful tool if you ever need to demonstrate for anyone the ability to circumvent a DLP solution or any other type of you know, data scanning or maybe even bypass antivirus. Just depends on what you're trying to do here, guys. This is for educational purposes only. Um, appreciate you sticking around and watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I've got more content coming out real soon. I'm trying to grow the channel, so I appreciate it. Until the next one, take care, guys.